What's up guys? It's Sabrina with Minecraft by Sabrina, where our crafts are anything but square. Today I'm going to be hitting you with another 100% Fonto app knockout method. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how to create your entire knockout design using only the Fonto app. So if you haven't done so already, go to your app store and download Fonto Text on Photos. Open that app and at the top right corner, if you're in Android, you're going to click on that image icon and select plain images. Use a white image and select use. Once we have our template, select the pencil at the top and type your first word, which is going to be mom. And then you're going to select font to click your fonts. Under the font menu, because these are system fonts, I'm going to select my font and click on done. I'm going to go to size so that I can make it larger. And now I'm going to add my names. Again, I'm going to go to my pencil and insert my name. Go to font. Under my fonts, because this is a downloaded font, I'm going to select my font and click done. Again, I'll go to size and make that larger. Now we'll go to style and under stroke menu, we can create our offset. You have to pick a color in order for you to see your offset. And once you have it, you can change your width up and down in order to make it as wide or as thin as you want. Once you've got your width, go ahead and change it to the color white and select done. Because it's white and the background is white, it gives it a natural knockout look. Remember, these are two separate images. So if you click on mom, mom is going to come to the front. So you want to make sure you're clicked on your names so that the names remain in the front. Also, this is going to be uploaded as an image. It's going to be one solid layer. So you need to have it exactly where you want it positioned because you cannot edit it once you're in design space. After you've designed it the way you want it, you're going to click on the download button and click save as JPEG. This next step is completely optional because you can do this in design space. I like to use a background eraser app for this step because it's much faster. So I'm going to select load photo and upload the photo that I just saved from the Fonto app. I'm going to crop it, select done, and then using the auto wand and lower that cursor, I'm going to just select the white areas. Don't forget to also get the insides of your letters. Want to make sure you click on anything that is white. Then you're going to click done, click on save, and now your image has a transparent background. Now we'll go into Cricut Design Space and upload the image I just created. I'm going to click on upload, photo library, and I want to select the image that I created in the eraser app because that doesn't require any cleanup. So if you click on your preview, you can see it's completely ready to go. You're just going to click on next, name it, and save it. If you did not use the background eraser, then you're going to have to clean it up within Design Space. So we'll select the image that we created in the Fonto app, and then we're going to get this cleanup screen. You see in your preview, it's just a solid square, so you need to clean it up using the magic wand. Click on all your white areas, and then again, don't forget to select the inside white pieces of your letters. As you see, Cricut Design Space takes a lot longer to process the removing of all of these spots, which is why I choose to use my background eraser app. After you've clicked on every single space, you're going to click next, name it, and click on save. Now you want to just select your image and click on insert. Once it's on the mat, you can see that it's one single layer. It's all one color, so if you wanted this to cut out mom in one color and Sabrina in a different color, then you'd have to duplicate that image. And then I like to align them completely centered. And then on one layer, you're going to click on it and select Actions and Hide. And you want to click on any of the portions that create the word mom. And by clicking on each of those portions and you can pinch to zoom in, then you're going to actually hide all of those little sections. 
So after you've clicked on everything, you're going to go ahead and just tap out of that. And you can now change the color of Sabrina to be its standalone color. Now you have to do the same thing but the opposite for the mom because as you see Sabrina is still there. So now you'd select mom and go actions, hide, and you would hide the word Sabrina and also all the little insides of the letters. If you don't hide the inside of the letters, you'll see that you'll still have them cut out in black. So you want to also hide those insides. If you've aligned it centered like I did at the beginning, it's going to sit perfectly aligned. Although that doesn't matter because when you send it to the mat, they're going to be separate anyways. So there you go. That is how you can create your entire knockout design in Fonto with no editing required.